Hi and welcome to Sue Melville Art and today we're going to do a little experiment so I have no idea how this is going to turn out okay but it's a picture that you can do um, that you don't need a reference photo for. What I'm going to be using is pastels, soft pastels and how we can really blend them on the paper. So as you can see I've got here a piece of pastel mat that I have used previously and I've washed down, rubbed out and got most of the previous painting off. Um, it was one that had gone horribly wrong. But these things happen and I like to reuse the paper because well otherwise it's a bit of a waste and I don't like waste. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a landscape and we're going to just randomly work with some pastels. I'll let you know which ones I use as I pick them up. So you can see I don't have a test piece up. So every painting I do, I always have a test piece of the paper that I'm working on next to the painting so that I can practice what's happening with the colours before I put them on the actual painting itself. Um, I don't actually have another piece of this paper. So I'm just going to put it straight on blend in. If it doesn't work out, I'll put another colour on top um, and we'll see what happens. So what we're going to draw is sky and um, a pasture of some description. So I'm going to select a couple of blues, um, a pale blue and a darker blue. Um, first of all, I'm going to... Actually, I think I'll draw it in the pale blue. So let me grab a couple of colours. Right, so what I've got here is a dark blue and a sort of a mid, um, almost like a Chinese blue. In, and these are unison soft pastels. So let's put these on and see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a smile. About halfway across my paper. That's going to be my horizon line and I'm doing it in a smile because I'm just think we all need a bit of happiness at the moment really. So when you look at sky you'll see that the darker colours are higher up and the lighter colour of your sky is nearer your land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of this paler pastel um, on my curve, my horizon line and then I'm going to do some dark pastel on top. So I'm using the fat of the pastel on its side to give a really big, let's just put that, a fair amount of covering in there. As you can see, it's covering over the old marks that are still visible on the paper. Let's put some dark in. That's good. Um, and I'm going to put another lighter, even lighter blue right near the bottom. And put some more middle blue back in here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is blend that together with our fingers to make it smooth. Really work it into the paper. we want that transition to be completely smooth. I'm actually going to put the lighter, some lighter in up here too. mat is great for really working the colours in. It's got a fabulous toothy grain to it. That's the beginning of our sky. So what I'm going to do I think is put some fluffy clouds in. 
This is a Sennelier white and I'm just going to put some scooty clouds coming along. So just do a little little lines of clouds coming in. You don't have to be do anything particular, just put the impression of the white coming in and then again just blend that in to give us that soft sky-like feel to it. Okay, let's put some grass in. And again, it's the same thing with the colours. So you'll get a pale green near the skyline, the horizon, moving down closer to a darker green near the front. So let's find some greens. Okay, I've got some greens. This is a Sennelia dark green. Um, let's see how this works closer to the bottom. So we'll put this down here. Um, this is a SAA light green. Move that up into the horizon line. Okay, let's blend those together. That's rather lovely actually. Okay, so we've got a nice green. Just put some more dark colour on here. But that in itself is a bit, well, there's no focus there. So we want to put a bit of focus. Um, let's have a think. I think we'll put a bit of some, maybe some trees in the, um, along that horizon line, a couple little trees so we've got some this is a unison dark brown and we just want to give the impression of some trees so we're just going to do some very light just lines coming up here to, and some over here as well just to indicate a bit of a, a forest maybe so we're going to just put some a little darker bits on the horizon line because you're not going to be able to see these precisely. We just want to give an impression. So let's just smooth that in. Fat fingers there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this is another SAA pale green. Just put some little squiggles going on in there to give the impression of some leaves happening that are different to the soil, the um, grass that's around it. Again, not very, not precise at all. Just doing a little bit of sure whether I like that actually. I'm going to just blend that at the bottom just out a bit because I'm not sure if that actually fits too well so I'm just going to put some blue in there. Just take that back a bit. So the good thing about playing around is if you don't like something change it. 
Okay, so what shall we do at the front? I think we're going to do some um, grasses um, and maybe a couple of hints of flowers. So this is a, a Faber-Castell bright green stick and I'm just going to do some lines just going up and I'm also going to use the same green as oh actually there's this green as well oh that's a nice green maybe to do some thicker leaves coming out here too gives us some foreground going on. And I think what I'd like to do is put some little bits of flower in there. There's a nice yellow. A nice yellow. So I'll put some little, maybe some hints of some, just on the edges of some of these grasses to hint at maybe some colour coming in. Um, maybe actually we could make that a little firmer. Make it more of an obvious flower coming in every now and again. This is another Faber-Castell stick, polychrome stick. I'm just going to put a red in there. coming on so I can just add that to maybe just the tips of the flower. Um, this is a white Faber Castell. I can might put a daisy in the corner.
And you get the impression of some flowers happening on here. Now what I could do if I was being really brave is maybe do a ladybug or another sort of creature. I'm just going to do some more of these coming up this way. Another snillier red. That gives more of a. That's quite a nice. Red. So we could have a little ladybug just here. In flight. So we have two halves of that. With some little black. And that's our little ladybug. Just make that a little bit better. I'll do another one, I think. Do one just crawling on here. And there you have it, a rather sweet little landscape from a scrap piece of pastel mat and a whole heap of pastels. I hope you enjoy and remember if you have a go, remember to sign your name at the end. This is of course your masterpiece. Happy painting!